lately I've been on my own shit. I've been in my ages getting rich. Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. So today, the moment everybody's been waiting for, I'm finally coloring this wig. So this is the 613 wig that I got from Amazon. I will have the um, video on this wig linked down below. But this is the wig, um, and right now I'm going to fill my sink up. Forgive me for being out of breath. I'm very far along in this pregnancy, so. <laughs> but um, right now I'm filling my sink up with warm, hot, ish water um and i'm going to then take the shimmer lights um shampoo and we're going to tone this wig and i'm gonna dip it in there as many times until it gets to like a platinum ish color and then we'll go in with our dye So after rinsing all of that out, I usually rinse with cold water, but this is what the wig is looking like. Um, this is the color that we're going for. Don't be alarmed by the purplish color um, or the difference between like the very front of the wig and the rest of it because we're going to dye it purple anyways. Um, so I sectioned off this little piece because that's going to be a whole different color. We're going to color that one like a pinkish color. So once again, I'm filling up my sink with this hot water and we're going to take um, these dyes that I'm going to show you. Um, I have two from Adore and then one from Kiss. And um, actually, which you'll see later in the video, 
the this um color from a door actually turned out to not be dark enough but i still kept the process in here um to show you guys how to do the watercolor um but i mixed the two together because i wanted it to be like a metallic type of purple um so i mixed those two together but i didn't put equal parts of each dye i just took the purple and put majority of that in and kind of just put uh like i guess half the amount of that using that uh that silverish uh color from kiss and mix that all together and then we're gonna dip it obviously you know not dipping the sectioned off part but we're gonna make sure that we get very like close um to it so that way you don't have any of that blonde or the platinum or whatever peeking through So here I'm taking just a little strand from like the back part of the wig and I'm going to test it to see if it's the color that I want it to be. Um, this color came out looking like it would be dark enough, but trust me, it really wasn't. It was like very bright and the colors didn't coordinate together well enough for me. So, um, but still, you know, like I said, I'm showing you guys the process. This is me dipping the wig and I dipped it a few times to really take that color on. Um, which you guys of course you know see here and after that we're going to rinse it a little bit and then we're going to start on the pink patch at the top
so after draining all of that out i'll be taking this color and this one of course with the silver and i'll be mixing um all three of them i'll be using majority of this pink color and just a little bit of the other two um like you saw me doing that the first step and this is to dip the little patch that i separated at the top of the wig um honestly i could have you know used a smaller amount given the fact that it's a small section but hey i didn't so um i'm just gonna mix that up and then i'll dip it in there a few times until the color takes and then we'll go right into the rinsing slash washing part of the video Now that we're done dyeing the wig, um, I'm going to take um, this wig and rinse it under cold water. I do that so um, it limits, you know, the amount of, you know, the color bleeding out or fading or anything like that. So I rinse it in cold water um, and I, you know, wring it out a couple of times until, you know, you either see no more color coming out or you know very you know minimal um and then i'll go into washing it with the shimmer lights shampoo that i used earlier and then conditioner Oh, 
So, like I said, I use this conditioner to, um, you know, soften the wig and all that stuff. And um, I really, you know, I put a lot in the wig to bring back some type of life into it and to make, you know, the hair soft. Um, I never find dyeing the hair to really make my wigs brittle, but I mean, I didn't want to take the chance with this one, especially given that it came from Amazon. Um, so... I used a really good amount and then I'm going to let that sit in the sink um, I let this actually sit for about I think an hour if not close to an hour because I just started doing a whole bunch of other stuff and honestly I forgot about it so um, it sat in the sink for about an hour uh, with the conditioner in it and then I still rinsed it under cold water So this is the color after that dye job. Um, on camera, it looks dark, but I promise in person, it really wasn't like, it was just completely off. So I had to um, re-dye it. And then it was a little bit too much pink in the front than I anticipated. So here, I mean, you can really tell that it is a little bit deeper. Um, it is really, really dark um, compared to before. And I made the pink patch in the front a lot, um, I guess, smaller in width. So this is the wig completely dry and it curled up a little bit. Um, but this is it completely dry after the second time around. And that's how much pink is in the front. And this is the true color, like how it looks on camera is really how it looks. Um, so I'm just going to put that on my head and just brush it out, you know, show you guys what it's looking like. I'm not going to style it on camera because I actually had um, somewhere to go. It was our anniversary. So um, I actually styled it off camera. Um, I just really just straightened it. I was going to curl it, but it looked so much better straightened. But here is it. You know brushed out it looks really nice it was silky it was soft um everything about it was really nice this hairline was a nightmare but you know it's okay i'm okay with that um because you can't really tell especially once i really start to style it but like i said this is what it's looking like and thank you guys so much for watching me dye this wig i actually had a lot of fun dyeing it it was my first time doing like a two color type situation on a wig and um i actually liked doing it but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and um i hope i helped somebody with you know this video um so make sure that you guys leave a like a comment and make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more videos and as usual we love you guys I've been on my own shit I've been in my ages getting rich